All right. Another thing that was uh, actually not on this list, but it should have been, um, is to uh, craft a telescope and use it. Uh, because hey, uh, that's gonna be that's gonna be useful. Let's go ahead and uh, craft ourselves up a diamond block, or well, two of them, like a so. And then we just need uh, compressed aluminum, compressed tin. Yeah, yeah, there we go. There and a glass pane. And there we go. Give us. Whoops. There we go. Uh, yeah, in the crafting bench. Thank you. And give us a telescope. Okay, so we can now. That's that, that's a little weird. All right, we're just ah okay. So it's a very big telescope. And we're just holding it by the. By the by, the pinky, I guess. Um, let's grab this uh, research paper that we've gotten as a quest reward. I think we've gotten two of them, um, but this will at least allow us to discover the asteroids, and it'll mean that uh, and since we need to discover the asteroids before we can go to the asteroids, uh, it, we should probably do that uh, before it becomes absolutely but before we go back to Earth. So that way, if we do by chance manage to get to the stage of crafting um, yet more. Rockets, we're in a good position to do that. Also, I think we'll probably bring a full canister of uh, of fuel so that we, uh, you know, just in case. Um, okay, so let's discover the research paper. Is this? Oh, it needs power. Okay, that's annoying. Uh, does this go up here? Yes. Okay, but let's uh, let me run some cabling. Actually, it looks like there's nowhere to attach cabling. We'll need to put a. Yeah, I'll need to grab a battery. Man, we haven't used batteries for, like, anything. We've just been wiring everything in. There we go. Battery. And we'll grab a second one, because I don't know how much this is going to take. Um, and I hope that at least if we run out of power, it'll persist what it needs. We'll find out, I guess. Um, so, yeah, let's let's take a look here and put in a battery. Oh, look at that. We are now discovering, and we're discovering it for us. So that's good. Oh, and out of battery. Okay, but we maintain the progress. That's at least something. And continue to progress. There we go. Oh, and it does drain it even if we're not doing anything. So we have now discovered the asteroids. If we look at the map, let's see what we see. Look at that. We now can see asteroids. Cool. So in theory, we should be able to set that as a target if we, uh, if we were to launch somewhere. Okay, and here is the portable uh, power setup. This, it, it's, it's, it's simple. <laughs> it's just three... Uh, hopping bonsai pots right into storage drawers, into hoppers, into the electric furnace. Now, by default, uh, this is going to have absolutely no power in it um, because the generator won't have any coal. Um, so it's not going to generate any power. So we will need to kickstart this. We'll drop in a battery. And worst case scenario, we can always charge the battery using our inventory charger um, to get this thing kicked off. But this should be enough. This is loosely based off of a design I saw in the Discord for this um, for this mod. Um, I think actually we could we could uh, potentially take these side bits down and pull them in from the side if we moved that cable to the back. Um, and yeah, we could we could figure out ways to make this a little bit a little bit smaller. Um, I have my inventory ready to go. We have the phaser rifle. We have the inventory furnace generator along with a bunch of charcoal blocks. I smelted up. We have a new astro miner along with the astro miner base, which we will set up to do our major mining. We have an ender chest. I have an energy storage module because I don't know exactly how much uh, this is going to produce. If it ends up producing less than we need, so that we need to. You slow it down. We'll have the energy storage module. Actually, I think we've got the uh, a spare, uh, more advanced one. If we look at usage, yeah, I think we have a spare energy storage cluster in the chest. I'm going to grab that before we go. And then a drawer key to make sure we lock these. I'm going to take all this down and put this in our backpack as well. And then we've got our diamond armor. We have aluminum wire. We have an electric compressor because it seems to be used for everything. We have a NASA workbench in case we happen to be able to craft a, a new rocket from there. We're bringing a basic fuel tank, a bunch of baked potatoes, some diamonds, some iron, and some oak wood. Okay, uh, you know what? One more, one more tiny, little little thing, just to save us some time. We're gonna bring a crafting bench. Uh, <laughs> now they do have. There is the magnetic crafting bench, which. Uh, I do have installed in a couple of places, but uh, to be honest, I don't like it because things like the auto balancing and stuff like that don't actually work uh, with that crafting bench variant. So I've been using just regular crafting benches for the most part. But okay, this is our setup. We're pretty much ready to go. I'm just going to go ahead and tear down uh, this remaining stuff and we will launch for Earth and set up our forward base. And ladies and gentlemen, it is time, time for us to head back to the overworld. I'm going to take off um, our spacesuit stuff. Um, I think, I think we'll bring, yeah, I think we'll bring this with us. 
Um, I don't think we'll have any use for it, but we'll bring it with us all the same. Um, the jetpack we'll almost certainly use. I realized last time we went to the overworld, I didn't use it at all. And I've got a whole bunch of stuff. All the stuff that we prepped and planned for is in here. We are overgeared. We are ready. Not overgeared. Can never be too overgeared. We are ready to go. Um, I've set up our, our little elevator, so that's good. And uh, it's time for us to launch. So we're going to go to the overworld and set up an advanced base. Uh, oh, you know what? I didn't fuel the rocket. Let me let me do that real quick. And there we go. Okay, <laughs> fuel the rocket. Put the fuel back in the back in the backpack. It was inter actually it was interesting to me. The um it had a bucket in it already. So I guess the fluid tank not only uh, retains uh, the fluid, it also retains uh, any buckets, spare buckets you may have in there. So this should now be a full. Uh, let's double check. Uh, yeah, it's 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 getting there. It's taken a little bit to, to load. That's fine. Um, we are in diamond armor, so we're gaining radiation a little bit faster than we otherwise would, but that's okay. Um, we have our we have our other gear. So there we go. Time for us to launch to the overworld. This time, hopefully, a little bit more prepared. All right, and we are landing. We are going to be prepared to dig straight down. Um, we will we will need to regain uh, regain. We'll we'll need to regain our. Uh, Oh, man, there's already stuff, really? All right, fair enough. Oh, gosh, okay. Come on, quick, quick, quick. Oh, my gosh, really? All right. Well. And that was in diamond armor? Are you serious? So much for being prepared. Um, and yeah, now our rocket is gone. So that's annoying. Not just our rocket, but our, our launch pad. I think we have a spare launch pad, but all the same. Ugh. Okay, let's try this once more. Oh, we're still falling. Okay. And I can't... I have my jetpack on this time, in the hope, but it doesn't seem to want to let me do any sort of real angling. Um... Okay, but we've got, okay, so there are laser creepers. Now we'll run, and I have my gun. So maybe, what the heck? Oh, right, we've got proper gravity this time. Okay, so there's that package. I want to collect that. I want to collect both of these, but I especially, yeah, there we go. Okay, um, let me down here. Uh, I just want to get down, and then... Yeah, okay, fine, fine, fine. You can be out here and I'll kill you. Yes, okay. <laughs> oh man. What that what a what a nightmare. Okay, but we've successfully gotten <laughs> we've successfully landed and made a made a base. So that's a start. Um our Y level is 58. I'm gonna try and go down to so one thing that we have to be mindful of with uh the Astro Miner is that if we go down too far. Um, we will end up, uh, then the, so the Astro Miner, when it can't go, when it can't, can't continue further, it has to hop all the way back. Um, uh, ooh, Osmia more. That sounds nice. I like it. Um, I should put this in my offhand, shouldn't I? Um, if it, if it, it runs into bedrock, then, what am I even talking about? Uh, then it, then it has to return to the, to the base. Whenever it reaches an obstacle, it, it starts, it returns to the base. Um, so we don't want to start it off too low because then it'll always run into bedrock. Um, but likewise, we don't want to start off too high because we want it to get the good ores. So uh, I'm going to dig us down a little bit and we'll dig out a little cave and we'll start playing. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll start playing uh, the. Uh... We'll start playing in a cave. Ooh, copper ore. Lovely. OK, so we're at Y equals 24. And I think this is where we will set up shop. So I'm going to set us up a little cave. And yeah, I'll be back in a minute. And actually, you know what, I won't... Actually, we won't set this up at Y equals 24. We'll set this up as just sort of the, the top of our, of our base. Because the base does need to be a little bit tall for the, uh, for the system we have in mind for power generation. Um, let's drop this down. Um, actually, one thing we should do right away... Uh, well, no, never mind. Let's 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 set up our power system. Um, gonna need. We'll start off with hopping bonsais, and get those going. And drawers underneath them. 
Oh man, it's nice to be. It's nice to have some uh, the ability to relax a little bit. All right, so we'll set up some basic drawers underneath here, and we will put some uh, lot. Well, you know, we can we can we can see if they happen to generate the thing we want, and then we can just lock them once they do. Um, so those are now set up. Um, let's grab the key so we can lock them once they generate the right thing. Um, we'll let those continue to grow down here, and then we'll we'll dig out our base around this system. So below those, um, we need a trio of hoppers. And voila, uh, hoppers. So one goes there, this one goes into that one, and this one goes into that one. Although, yeah, we shouldn't have set those up just yet, should we? Whoops. Oh, well, that's that's, that's not the end of the world. Um, let's grab, let me go ahead and lock these right away. And there, we'll go ahead and take them out. Put them in there, go ahead and take them out. And in there, lock it, take them out. Okay, and then I can go ahead and take these out. And now we are generating wood automatically, hopefully. And we'll just keep our fingers crossed that that'll eventually generate some stuff for us. All right, and under here, we place a an electric furnace and then the coal generator will go shortly under that, uh, like so. Ooh, lovely. Ooh, dilithium ore. I think that's one we're supposed to we're supposed to gather. Um, uh, maybe not. Okay, so then we'll put a coal generator down there. We'll put a hopper right there. And yeah, this is pretty much set up. We just need to rotate. Well, actually, we shouldn't even need to rotate things. We just need to wire them up. Um, we need, yeah, we'll put an energy storage cluster in the middle here. Um, this needs to be this whoops this can go down here and I don't know if that's gonna if that's pointed the right way we'll find out in a sec think not is this getting yeah okay so this has already gotten uh, yeah I think that's right um, then let me grab some cables and we will hook this up and boom okay so now in theory um if we kick start this thing it should begin to produce power as, as to whether or not it produces enough wood and is uh, an open question um but hey that's why we have the energy storage cluster and we can always disconnect this this cable if we if we absolutely have to but we have a battery which should be able to kick start this process and there we go because of course it's not going to produce any power until it already has uh, burnt some of this so um, now the battery is charged up to like half and now it's draining um, so it has enough just to just to burn a single one and see it's it's not able to do the next one but as soon as this thing kicks online starts generating and there we go we've got power coming in and now we're able to do more so the battery is dead but that's okay because we now have a bootstrapping system awesome And I suppose the nice thing is that this battery should at least hold on. So if if we run out of, if we're not producing wood fast enough, at least we're not going to be spending the the uh, the energy uh, to to burn it. So we will eventually fill up that battery one way or another. Yep. Okay. So this is this is idling because um, we just don't have enough wood production. But that's okay. That's not the end of the world because um, we're still we're still burning charcoal. Um, there's plenty of ore for us to for us to gather up. I think. Uh, let's go ahead and plop down some equipment. So we've got, yeah, we can we can put this this way because we don't need that. Let's go ahead and pull this out. Um, plop down our crafting table and plop down. Um, yes, love it, love it. We've got we've got power starting to happen. It's amazing. Okay, we'll plop that over there, and now I'm gonna send back our rocket before we can die for stupid reasons. Um, and we've got our base starting to starting to take shape. Um, we will, so my thinking is we'll take this as being, uh, so we, we'll, we want to set up the Astro Miner 
And the way that that works, so it should work here in the overworld as well. Um, we do need to make sure to face this away from where we want to establish our, our proper base area. So uh, I think we'll, we'll send this uh, off in this direction and let it do all of its uh, amazing stuff. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and build a little 2x2 two two area uh, for us to collect that. Um, actually, you know what, let me push this over a little bit. And this will basically just bore and tunnel and bore and tunnel. And uh, you know what, actually, um, let's go ahead and pull that up. I want to push this in by one block. That way, uh, it doesn't end up leaving a tunnel by which uh, things can sneak in and, and do stuff to us. Now, the the AI is a little bit different for the, the Astro Miner, apparently. Um, it's apparently optimized to find asteroids um, when in the asteroids dimension. Of course it does that. Um, no, thank you. I want you rotated the exact opposite direction. Thank you. Okay, just like that. Um, so this one should actually just do some, some boring and tunneling, um, which is what we want. So fingers crossed on that. Um, okay, so let's, um, yeah, let's wire this in. Um, this is going to start to pull the charge, but I don't know how much. Oh, yeah, we should, we should be fine. It's, it's always hard because I don't, it does not say anywhere how much charge the Astro Miner itself actually requires. So I don't know what exactly that looks like. But okay, let's, uh, we've dug that out. Let's go ahead and set this thing up, put it in there. Whoops. Okay. It's in there and it is already producing stuff for us. So that's good news. Um, it is going to suck up everything that it finds. And if we, if we follow it back there a little bit, you can see, you can watch it. Uh, oh, okay. It's encountered something and has has docked again. Fair enough. Um, go ahead. Be free. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's going out, and it is a tunneling. So, oh, look at that. It uh, exposed some iridium ore. That looks fun. Go ahead and grab some of that and some muradite ore. And, yeah, plenty of stuff. So it's going to gather all of this stuff, whatever that is. Nuclear. All right. No idea what all these ores are, but they look fun. So hopefully we'll find some use for them. Um, I'm going to, yeah, so this is, whoa, okay. Already got stuff spawning or something. Let's go ahead and close that up because, <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be lit. Um, oh, right, we've got the journey map, so we can we can use that. Um, but okay, so now uh, stun sh stun sunstone, stun sunstone shard. I can't talk today. Um, let's go ahead and just, yeah, we'll just send back all of these ores. I don't know. Um, yeah, we should probably eventually take, well, we'll, we'll smelt them up as, as we see fit, but, uh, for now, I'm just trying to throw stuff in here, because if we'd happen to die, then it'll be nice to have, have that stuff there. Um, of course, we do keep our inventory, so it doesn't hugely matter. Um, but we'll go ahead and let this thing, uh, go and gather a bunch of ores for us, and hopefully, it'll gather some of the special ones that, uh, we're supposed to keep an eye out for, particularly Tritanium, because that unlocks, uh, the mechanism stuff. So, I'm gonna continue to expand out this base, make it a little more cozy, um, we have, we have pretty much everything set up that we need to, um, although it certainly would be great to uh, get our compressor set up um, and then get some uh, additional, let's see, do we have, do we have clay? Well, we, yeah, we should be able to, we should be able to bootstrap our way into getting sort of a similar uh, base as to we had <laughs> uh, in the asteroid belt. And uh, I will see you with that in the next episode. So enjoy, uh, enjoy until then. Cheers.